Congress knows there's not enough money to do all the things that we want to do? There just isn't. The highway trust fund is deficient because people are driving less and driving more fuel-efficient cars. Congress is looking for alternatives to fund all the things we all want to do. And one of the ways to do that is through the infrastructure bank, which has worked in some states, where you set aside money and you do big things. And there are a lot of big things that people want to do with infrastructure and in the infrastructure uh, arena. And one of the ways to do them, and you all know this, that have been involved here at Brookings, the infrastructure bank is, 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 has caught on. It, it, now now people, uh, most people understand what it is, how it can be used, and uh, it is a good option coupled with other options to do the things we want to do in America with infrastructure and transportation. And uh, so I, I don't see it as Congress rendering any responsibility or any of their prerogatives. I think Congress, the majority of Congress, looks at it as another option to do the things we want to do in America. Um, and we're pushing, the, the president has asked the Congress for an 18-month extension, and it's not that the president doesn't want a robust, comprehensive transportation bill. He does. He gets it. If you saw the economic summit that the president hosted, he came to one of he came to the transportation and infrastructure panel and sat with us for more than 40 minutes and listened to people and talked about infrastructure. President Obama gets it. He knows when you create these opportunities in infrastructure and some of the things we're trying to do, it creates jobs, green jobs and other kinds of jobs. 